Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa and this is Rissa Explains It All. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first shift with GoPuff. I'm going to take you guys along on the ride. Um, just for some reference, I was told that this is actually the first day they're launching GoPuff in my particular neighborhood. So it is going to be a little slow. He said he probably doesn't expect many orders or offers to come in. But the good news with that is that we will still be paid each hour that no rides are coming in, which is a little bit different from DoorDash and Uber Eats and all of that. Because yesterday I sat on um, Uber Eats. Granted, I did this in my house because I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it at my house because it's been so slow. Um, so I sat on, sat on Uber Eats for six hours and didn't get one order. And I still don't get paid for that. So it's kind of cool that we'll still get paid for for not having any orders so that is that but i will let you guys know i'm gonna log in in six minutes and i'll let you guys know how that goes all right guys um i forgot to show you when i swiped on but i swiped on this is kind of what the interface looks like right here um so it shows that i am on and ready uh, to accept orders and that is that so i guess we will wait to see if i get an order all right guys also i wanted to show you just to show proof that you do get paid hourly just for sitting here um so here is what the bonus structure looks like you also get bonuses so i guess today is it today if i or this is all week so if i do five orders fifty dollars ten orders seventy fifteen ninety and twenty one twenty five so that's pretty cool and then on this next little thing you're seeing right here it's showing you the commission structure so you're seeing that I'm getting a $17.23 hour sorry you're seeing that I'm getting $17.23 per hour regardless if I get an order or not um, all tips are 100% hours and then we also are getting $3 per order so that is that but um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys that because um, it's pretty cool all right guys, one hour in, I have made $17.23 because I have gotten no orders, which is fine. I've been just listening to um, different crypto channels and trading channels, um, so it's all good. Um, so I'll check back in on hour two. All right guys, checking back in, it's almost the second hour. Um, still no orders, but obviously um, we kind of know that it's gonna be slow for at least two months because it's just up and coming in this area. But it's actually a really cool service. If you guys are interested, you should see if it's open in your market. Um, it's called GoPuff, like I said. <laughs> but um, we did do a test order. So I can kind of show you guys what it looks like. Um, I'm going to not show you the actual location. But but as you can see here, um, it just goes straight to your phone. It says, in bin one, pick up X, Y, and Z. But we just meet at the door and then a employee hands it to us and then you would select pick up and begin trip and then it shows you where to go on the map and then you can call or text the customer which i'm putting this right here you could take a picture of the food where you left it you can leave notes and then it tells you the customer's name and their instructions as well as all of their items pretty cool so far um also they um gave us a free credit to get food like we can order food um and, or snacks in there if we want and they provide free water and also like you can go in there and use the bathroom or if you want to go in there and walk around to cool off because it's hot you can do that too so it's pretty cool so once you end the order because they did like a test order and it says this person tipped me two dollars um it shows you right away like congrats you got tipped x amount of money but um it's pretty cool so far and then it just will show you here like oh you've completed one of one trips and then you are you just go back online and wait for the next one we're in almost hour two another seventeen dollars and 23 cents i think i'm gonna actually really like this because just the sole fact that you get a base pay regardless if you do any orders or not so it's gonna probably be a game changer for the rideshare world and they're not playing around with you so it's like oh they're not sending you a two dollar and fifty cent order so you're gonna be like oh i'm gonna definitely take this order because why wouldn't i so that's my ramble for today or for now i'm gonna check back in on hour three all right guys it's hour three 
um, still no orders, which is fine. Um, I also did forgot to tell you guys that you do pick out a schedule. They have them in four and six hour blocks, but you can do up to 10 hours, a, 12 hours a day, but you have to have like, I guess, or is it 10? I think it's 10 or 12 hours a day, but you have to have time in between because you can't just keep working. Um, pretty sure it's 12 hours a day, but you have to, you have, to um, have an additional six hours in between before you can start your next shift the next day or something like that. Um, so you do pick schedules. They have, well, in my market right now, they have schedules from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., and 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. You have a pretty good selection of schedule slots, so that's cool. And you just choose them weekly, and then you also get paid weekly. Um, also, they do do the healthcare stipend. I can see it says health subsidy tracker, which I'll post right here. So I guess after 192 hours, 192 hours, you'll get, I guess, half of the health insurance paid for. And then if you do 321 hours, you get the full amount paid for. It's kind of like Uber and DoorDash. They do the same thing. Um, if I find my link to my referral code, I'm going to leave it down below, but um, for now, hour three, guys, I will check back in on hour four. I'm doing six hours today, so um, definitely good to bring a book or like I listen to podcasts or whatever, so that's always good, but yeah, I'll check back in. Okay, guys, I don't think I checked in for hour four. Let's see. Um, I think I just got a trip. I'm going to screenshot it and post it for you, um, but still have no orders. This was my first order, and I had... DJ just dropped me off Subway, of course, right? That's when you get orders, is when you're about to eat. So, I'm about to go drive over there and get it. You guys, it's a real order! Woohoo! We did our first order! Okay, started delivery. I have it on my map. Let's just, it's about seven minutes away, two miles, that's it. Um, non contact. All right, let's just go drop this off. This is the first one, so I'm in, let's see, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I'm still in hour three, three and a half. So I don't know why I thought it was at hour four. Three and a half, got my first order, I'm really excited. And someone just almost crashed in front of me, so. Okay, gotta go. All right guys, that order was literally the easiest order ever. It was the customers outside, so I just handed it to them. And um, literally, probably less than five minutes away from the warehouse. So I'm gonna drive back and we'll wait for some more orders. Super easy guys, super easy. If every rideshare company was like this, it would make life a little bit differently for us. Anyways, I will update you guys if I get another order or on hour four or five, whatever hour I'm supposed to be on, so bye. All right guys, it is still hour four, four hours and 14 minutes so far. Yeah, four hours and 14 minutes so far. Um, actually, I'm surprised there's only about five drivers here because like I said you have to schedule But um, we each all got an order and so that's pretty exciting Like I said, it's new in this area, but in other areas of LA There's some people who make like two thousand dollars a week because they just rack up all the hours and work, you know, just hustle so I'm excited to be able to be on that level again because I was doing that with Uber Eats at the beginning of the year, but then they took away our bonuses, they merged with Postmates, and then everything's just falling apart with Uber Eats, so um, you're lucky to make $500 a week, honestly. So, just here waiting, gonna see if I get another order. If not, we're almost done. We only got about two and a half hours, give or take. Also guys, because it's new and fresh, you know everything's been so good in the beginning, and um, you never know, down the road it could change, and. I mean, I hope not, but things could get worse or it could get better. Um, it just depends, but I don't think that it'll get worse. I really think that, um, I've heard from other people that this is a good company too. So yeah, anyways, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I'm going to wait for my next order. And if I don't get any, I'll check back in with you guys on hour five. All right, guys, it is hour five. I have 40, no. 57 more minutes till this shift is up so um still no second order but that's fine i've seen some other people get some second order so maybe i'll get one before the end of the shift but if not it's cool because i'm getting paid anyway so can't complain um honestly though when the orders do start coming in it's gonna be super easy as i've said like 50 times sorry for being repetitive but i've literally just been chilling in my car um at the warehouse because that's what we're supposed to do 
So, um, I am going a little crazy. I'm so ready to go home and take a nap. I did not go to bed till like four in the morning, so that was my bad. Um, because I always take a midday nap and then I don't go to sleep till really late. So it's really my fault, but whatever. Um, I also might go do some Uber today. I don't know. It's been so slow. Like literally when I tell you guys, so slow. Ride share stuff is for a certain type of person who has who doesn't mind driving, doesn't mind being out in the sun, um, doesn't mind interacting with people. So <laughs> it's not for everyone. But anyways, that is that guys. I will check in once I clock out. All right guys, I am done. It is now three o'clock. I am done with my six hour shift. Tomorrow I'm doing a 10 hour shift. Um, I probably won't film it though because I just wanted to get this video up to let you guys know how day one went with GoPuff. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. I think I did sign up for like my taxes to be taken out or something, I don't really remember. But um, in total for six hours I made $105, $103 was the base salary, and then $2 tip on one of the rides. Um, obviously once it picks up, I'll be making more an hour, but still not bad for six hours, 105 bucks. Considering I sat on Uber Eats yesterday for six hours and got no money, no base pay, or no minimum pay, nothing. It was really good. I um, suggested if you guys are looking for another source of income and really good if you can, you know, schedule some hours after work if you have a full-time job or even before any job. If you have any other questions below, let me know. I'll try, if I have my link to my referral code, I'll leave it below. If not, then um, just look in your market for GoPuff. And also, if you're just a consumer, also look at GoPuff because the other thing that I like about GoPuff is you are guaranteed delivery because the drivers are only about a three mile radius from you in most markets. I don't know if this is for every market, for my market. And also because we're getting that hourly base pay, the drivers are not gonna say no to any order because one, you can't because it's assigned to you. And two, why would you? You're getting a, a decent hourly rate plus you're getting um, commission per ride and also 100% of your tips. Uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might have actually made more because this says I made $10. So two deliveries, which one was a test delivery, so I'm sure they're gonna take that back, which is $6 and then $4 in tip. Also two of that was a test tip. So um, ten. I think the $10 would be on top of the um, 103, so it's more like 113. But anyways, I'm done rambling. I just wanted to let you guys know how my first day went with GoPuff. It is a great second option. The only thing, the only downfall is, which I don't mind, is that you're, um, once you're locked into those hours, you are locked into those hours. If you choose to not um, complete those hours, it obviously would hurt against you. I don't know if they have an acceptance rate or completion rate at this time, but it does look bad against you, so that's one thing to keep in mind. That is it. I am team GoPuff right now, <laughs> as you can see. I'll let you guys know in a couple weeks how it's going um, as the the rides start to pick up and things like that. But other than that, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.